What's up, Wicked fans? RJ here. So I'm back to talk about that EK Threadripper water block mono block I bought for the Republican and Gamers ASUS motherboard. Now, in the previous video that I made for this water block, and I'll have a card up here for you. I opened this up, did an unboxing, and I've been using it. At first, I was pretty disappointed at the perform. I was disappointed that the cooling block on this thing was the size of the AM3, AM4, AMD CPU. It was the same thing, just expanded to the Threadripper, and I was kind of disappointed about that. Now, so far, and of course, I got a pretty beefed up water cooling supply, fans, reservoir, and all that. But it's been performing all right for me. That doesn't mean that I wasn't disappointed. And what's even more amazing is one of you viewers out there, one of you wicked fans, was really cool, dropped a message in the comments that if I emailed them that they were supplying a better block for this. And I was going to do that, but I wanted to do some tests first and see how things were before I got to that point. But before I could even do that, something amazing happened. EK re released a public statement about the Threadripper water block. That alone is uh, pretty cool, and I wanted to talk about that for a minute. And whatever I did with it here. They sent me the upgrade kit which we're going to check out today. But first, it's pretty incredible. I mean, when you think about it, everyone makes mistakes, you know, for whatever reasons. I mean, no one's perfect. We're all human. I, I know I've made plenty myself, you know, and how you handle that, I think, is a big deal, you know, ignoring it pushing it under the rug you know that's what most people do and I really wasn't sure where I was gonna go forward you know you spend that kind of money and you're hoping for something and then you end up with what I got I mean I'm not gonna say that I wasn't disappointed because I was however what was really impressive was that they came out and said hey we kind of screwed up on this and we want to make it right and in their announcement, they said, all you got to do is email them and they will make it right. So I wanted to see what would happen if I did that. So all I did was the, uh, when I ordered it, I re replied to that email, said, hey, I seen you're doing this and I uh, wanted to see if I can get it. And they replied right away, was really cool about it, was really awesome. And sent me a new one and it came amazingly fast i couldn't believe that i got it as quick as i did so let's check it out if this happens to be your first time here consider subscribing all right so what we're going to do today we're going to open this up take a look at it see what it looks like compared to the m4 am3 block that i got sitting over here and see what the difference is and this next weekend keep an eye out i'm going to do a video on upgrading the actual block on my board but you know i gotta remove my motherboard and all that kind of stuff it's going to be pretty lengthy and involved um but let's take a look at this see what's going on but keep an eye out for that and um we'll get a comparison to see what exactly the numbers are you know i'm going to do a full load test get my thermals and pop this new block on get my thermals under full load on my current overclock settings i'm not changing my water cooling settings i'm not going to change my overclock settings everything's staying the same i want to see if just changing this block is actually going to change any of my thermal numbers on the processor which would be interesting to see let me know in the comments if you think i'll actually see any difference in my thermals under full load on my 4.9 gigahertz overclock so that'll be really interesting to see and if there is I'm gonna see if my how far I can push this overclock if it will make a whole lot of difference so <laughs> let's bust this open with the 
trusty razor blade here and see what we got from EK. Empty box, some packing. Uh, let's see. Look at that. An invoice for zero dollars. <laughs> I mean, that's really cool that they, you know, they sent me a block, a whole new block, no shipping, no nothing. I mean, this really is awesome, guys. There's not a whole lot of companies out there that, for one, will admit their mistake and go out of their way to make it right. Um, I wish a lot more companies and people cared like this. <clears throat> All right. The upgrade kit. Let's see what we got. Fighting me. Doop, 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 doop. All right. Awesome, awesome. Some pretty detailed instructions. like our top plate water inlet some jet assignments and of course the new block let's go ahead and you know destroy this packaging getting it open yeah hmm does look bigger let's get you a close-up of this and see what it looks like it looks like they use the same thing for you know the actual part here is the same size but the uh, cooling fins however has increased quite a bit but surprisingly they're not very tall which is interesting they're really shallow and I'm worried about the shallowness possibly you know hindering performance but uh, when we pop up when we pop open the other one we'll see exactly how deep the other ones are let's look at my AM3 real quick parts of goodness parts of goodness Hmm, I don't know if we should take this thing apart. But, yeah, can't see a whole lot. But, uh, it does look like an improvement. I'll have to clean this thing up and get it set aside. Now, also send just a new thermal paste, screws, and that kind of assortment. But of course, you know, I'm going to stick with my thermal grizzly on the new block here. See what it does. I really hope this helps out a lot. You know, maybe just because I never had the top plate off on my old one, maybe there's no difference in that, but the actual fin area might be a whole lot bigger. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, seeing this. If anyone at EK actually ends up seeing this video, I want to say thank you. 
I appreciate you doing this for me and everyone else out here that bought this product. Um, I'm sure it's just not me that really appreciates you going out of your way uh, to say I'm sorry and to make it up to us with uh, this improved water block. I'm looking forward to checking it out, seeing how she performs. So keep an eye out that for that next week. I'll have that out there for you. Tear this thing apart and uh, see how it performs. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.